talk a little bit about what happens to light once it comes down in the lower part of our atmosphere. We've already discussed gamma rays and x-rays, and we know that those guys, as they're starting to come down, they get captured in the ionosphere. We know that the UV rays, they're going to come down and they're going to get stopped in the ozonosphere. But what happens to this light energy is the light energy as a wave is going to be coming all the way down through the ionosphere, through the ozonosphere. But what happens to that light energy before it reaches down here to the very surface? Well, we have our little clouds here. One thing that is going to be taking place is diffusion of that light. So one thing that will happen is that light energy gets diffused or diffusion takes place. Now, diffusion, by definition, kind of means spreading. And there's a lot of things that we can think of for diffusing. My sunglasses actually diffuse the light a little bit. This Ziploc um, bag, it lets through most of the light, but it actually diffuses a little bit. The sheer curtain actually even lets through a lot of the light, but some of it gets diffused or it starts to get pulled apart. Now, the same process happens in our atmosphere. So let's take a look at that. Um, it could be a cloud. It could be water droplets that are really high. So it could be like haze that is kind of higher in the atmosphere, or it could be a, not a cloud, a cl 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 cloud. Or um, what we've seen recently is a lot of other particulate matter. And that is a result of um, local fires. So if you have um, a, a kind of poor looking cloud, what is going to happen is that light energy is going to start to come down. As that light energy comes down, it comes down and hits that cloud. Now, what we'll talk about in just a bit is some of this light energy will bounce right back off. If you've ever been in an airplane above all this, then you've probably seen the tops of the clouds and seen how bright and beautiful it is. But here's what can also happen. With all of the water droplets that make up this cloud, though, that light energy is going to be going in, and then it hits one water droplet, and it gets pushed to a different spot, and another one, and then another one, and then another one, and then finally that light energy is going to be coming back out. But it isn't as strong. It isn't as if it's coming directly from the sun. Um, it's going to be shade. It's going to be a little bit shaded. Now, even when the sky is covered in particulate matter or when the sky is covered in clouds, that light energy continues to come in and it does uh, eventually make it through but it is diffused. It's been spread, it's been moved across, and so we don't get as much light coming all the way through. It has been diffused a little bit. All right, so that's gonna be one thing that we start to see. Now, another thing that we will start to see is when uh, the sun starts to set a little bit. And as uh, we're here on um, the earth, and the sun is starting to set. Well, let's talk about during the normal part of the day. During the normal part of the day, there's a certain amount of atmosphere that the sunlight goes through. Even if it's a bright blue, beautiful day, the sun is up there in the sky and there's only a certain amount of distance that that light energy needs to go through the atmosphere. However, when the sun gets lower in the sky, just before sunrise and just, oh no, just as the sun rises and as the sun sets, there is a lot more atmosphere that that light energy needs to go through. Now, as a result of that, all of the different particulates that might be in the air, all of the water droplets uh, that might be there in the air, the salt particles that we might find at the ocean, all of those are going to start to diffuse the light energy. So in the middle of the day, very little of the atmosphere that the light needs to go through at sunset. And I suppose at sunrise, um, there's a lot more atmosphere that the light needs to go through. Now, in the morning, usually the air is clear, um, but so we're not usually going to see as much. Um, but 
in the afternoon when uh, there's going to be a lot of particulates, particularly when there's fires or if you're in an area with a lot of smog or if you're out at the beach and there's a lot of water droplets that are there and perhaps um, salt particles that have um, gone up, what's going to happen is it's going to start to diffuse out and some colors are going to be a little bit stronger and they're going to be able to make it through. And those are going to be like our reds and our oranges. And maybe some of that purple light is going to be able to come through in some spots that might be hitting a cloud and bouncing around. And this gives us our colorful sunset. Now, not recommended to go out with the one you love. And as the sun is setting, say, aren't all the particulate matter beautiful? No, let's not break the romance of that. But <clears throat> this is going to be our main example. The colorful sunsets is a beautiful example of the light diffusion going through a greater part of our atmosphere.